Sometimes it's easier to deal with Donald Trump because when he decides to do something bad, he openly says it, I'm bad. But with the left you can never know, because they conceal it. And because of that, we have no idea if the following is legit or not. Peter Schweitzer, president of the Government Accountability Institute and author of Clinton Cash, the untold story of how and why foreign governments and businesses helped make Bill and Hillary rich, Join Sirius XM host Alex Marlowe on Thursday's Breitbart News Daily to talk about the latest Clinton scandal updates. Marlowe pointed to the story about hundreds of Clinton Foundation donors rewarded with seats on advisory boards by Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, and the Wall Street Journal's suspicions of a pay-for-play arrangement between Bill Clinton and the perfume industry. According to Breitbart, he said, It continues to confirm what people know, which is, whatever the Clintons ostensibly seem to get involved in, that there is always money that flows to them. According to him, Clinton charities always seem to conceal rivers of money flowing in the opposite direction. He said, This was the great charity, the Clinton Foundation, that they have trumpeted as having solved so many of the world's problems, which, of course, people dispute. But the problem is, every time you look at these programs, these philanthropic programs, you find that the donors, or the recipients of the money, are somehow giving money to Bill and Hillary Clinton. They're always sort of getting their cut. Now we did have, last night, sort of the monumental event, Bill Clinton effectively closing down the Clinton Global Initiative. He gave a speech last night, sort of a weepy-eyed speech, proclaiming that he had fundamentally changed philanthropy for the better. But I think when you look at sort of what he describes as their accomplishments, there's a lot wanting, and you realize how much it really is embedded with the corruption that is so rampant with the Clintons. He said a lot of people don't realize that the Clintons, a couple of years ago, started a campaign to build an endowment for the Clinton Foundation, which I think is somewhere on the order of $350 million, so even if they stopped raising money tomorrow, they still have an endowment that will allow the foundation, in some form, to continue to operate. This is the problem. It is transactional. Everything they do is transactional. He also said that said reports that the Clinton Foundation has spent as little as 6% of its total income on actual charitable endeavors were quite plausible. If you actually look at the numbers of their filings and 990s, that's what it indicates. Now, what the Clinton Foundation will say is, yes, we take in $200 million, let's say, and we only take 12 million of that and give it to charitable groups like Doctors Without Borders, and the Red Cross, etc. But what they'll say is, the remaining 94% goes for all these charitable activities that we are doing. The problem is, when you start drilling down on what, precisely, those charitable activities are, and what they have to show for it, it gets really, really fuzzy and hazy. So you'll have some charities like Doctors Without Borders will say, we immunized 100,000 kids last year. And you can look at that. That's a very clear metric. Okay, here's where they did it. They were in Sub-Saharan Africa. They had all these doctors. The Clinton Foundation will say, we assisted or facilitated in 100,000 kids getting immunizations. Well, okay, what does that mean? And they don't really tell you. They don't really explain to you how it works. So the number is absolutely correct, that 6% goes to other charities. The other 94% is in the stew of marketing and management and travel expenses, and sort of all these obscure things, that it's really hard to dissect what is the end result of that 94% being spent. That is partly what he said. Now about the headline, there's no way to know if that is in fact true. As I said, the right at times is openly bad, the left conceals it. 